What's up, what's up? It's your boy Quizzle, man. We down here at Ethan's Locker. We watching Scoop TV. Yeah, that's cool. All right, man. It's your boy Scoop TV. Once again, who we got in the building? Quizzle, man. Quizzle, Quizzle. What's the deal, man? How, how you been? I see you been doing your thing with the music. Got the hot single out right now. I did the video for So, what was the concept behind the, uh, the song? Man, about uh, like living in poverty. You know, coming up, coming up from nothing. You know, um, it's been hard. You know, uh, just basically coming up from the struggle. You know, it's it's, it's about like uh, maintaining. You know, staying focused. On, you know, on your passionate with uh, the what you want to do. Mm hmm. Uh, definitely, definitely. So, um, coming up in the game, like, who was you listening to growing up? Oh, man, I'm a 90s baby, so Lil Wayne, uh, Gucci Man, uh, Lil Boosie, Webby, uh, Young Jeezy. Uh, who else? I had, like, uh, back in the day, favorite back in the day, uh, Crucial Conflict. That's like one of my favorite uh, back in the day uh, groups or what? Not group, but like they, they was they was hard. They, they was a group. It was a couple of them. You know what I'm saying, but like them two. Uh, who else? It, it's it's more, but it's more. Nah, uh, definitely, definitely. So when you're in the stool, what's your writing style? Are you more of a freestyler, or you somebody that just you know you got come in there prepared writing and stuff like that? Uh. Well, I come prepared, you know, because I just can't freestyle off the dome. I'm kind of, I ain't, I ain't worried, but I'm kind of, I'm different. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, I gotta write, I gotta write my shit because if I come off the dome, then it's gonna be some, some goofy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fact. <coughs> so, for a lot of people who probably don't know, like we, we both went to the same high school and shit. Yeah, I mean, um, you went to Arsenal too. Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to Arsenal too. We went oh, to Arsenal. God. And we went to uh, the body together. Like, how was those schools for? Real? Tell us a little bit breakdown of that school. Growing up, you know, it's uh, it built me. You know, it, it turned me. It turned me into like who I am today. You know, learning and and, and uh, just learning, man. You know, because I wouldn't be the person I am today if you know if I went if went through them trials and tribulations. You know, man. Yeah, it was it, it was a learning experience. Well, how, what would you say is for like how was it for you growing up in the inner city of Pittsburgh? Because a lot of people that don't know that it's very hard down here growing up, especially coming from where we came from. So oh, how was man. it coming up? Oh man, coming up it's like like I came up, you know, like cool, you know, chill, funny as all hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but being around thorough that, you know, being around thorough thorough niggas, you know, taught me a lot. You know, my cousin uh. Terrence, TT, they call me black and shit. He taught me a lot. That was, he was like one of my, uh, like one of my, it's not, basically inspirations. Him, my cousin Chris and uh, Rico, Rico okay. Green, yeah. Shout out to Rico Green, um, he passed away. But yeah, he did, like, show me like things, you know, my, my father could've showed, should've showed me, you know. So it was hard pretty much, but like, with them, with them two around, you know, like, like it definitely taught me like a lot, man. Even like growing up in uh, growing up in Pittsburgh, man. I met so many, you know, cool niggas, throw niggas. I met, you know, uh, like I don't, I don't know. It's crazy, man. You know, it built it built me, you know, in a way. Uh, definitely, definitely. So, is there anyone around the city you would like to work with? For it don't even matter, like with music, producing, cameraman. Who would you like to work with? Man, I want to work with everybody, you know, because. Everybody try to get to this paper, you know. And I like I like nigga style, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not biased with it with it, you know. I like I like getting it, like 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 trying new things, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right. Like no homo, no homo. But love, bro. Um, so, like, what what can we really uh, expect from you as far as music? You got any new projects you working on? New songs? Yes, the Road to Riches, my new uh, my new mixtape, my very first mixtape, just dropped it. Um, you can get it at like 
Sound, not SoundCloud, but uh, Apple Music, uh, Spotify, iTunes, you know, or you can download it. You can download it to support your boy Quizzle, you know, because niggas is broke out here. I'm, just, I'm being honest. But anyway, but yeah, for real though, uh, what was it again? What was your question? Oh, yeah, no, I was just saying, like, we're, we're some upcoming projects that we was at. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, The Road to Riches. I, yeah, I just dropped that, uh, like, like, what? Not even, like, yeah, a week ago, because I had to wait for it to process and shit to get out, like, to Pandora. Well, hopefully it's on Pandora by now. Mm -hmm. But, like, it took a minute for it to get on iTunes and shit. Like, you know, since that was my first one, I was kind of, like, impatient for real. So, like, I was bugging. But, yes, yeah, uh, hopefully y'all like it, man. It's, I got different styles, you know. I'm very, like, unique with it, you know. Yeah, and that's definitely dope. So like definitely being different because that's how you get your your music out there. Exactly. A lot of people gravitate to it. Exactly. So like, who you been studying as far as like when you first like really getting into the music shit? Who was you studying? Not necessarily you was listening to, but okay. like the way they they style is and okay. like damn how I'm gonna come at it like that too. Well, I've been studying. I've been studying Lil Wayne. You know, as far as like how he come. You know, I've been studying a little Boosie too. As far as like my pain. You know, like that's that's how like that's how like I'll do like like I feel in the side, you know, like that's what I that's what I need, you know, my pain, that's how I feel like uh, that's what I feed off, you know. Uh the flow, man, Tupac. You know, I love Tupac and Biggie, love them. They like they my inspirations as well. I can't <coughs> say that. But they are my inspirations as well. Like I like uh I like using Tupac's like uh his style. You know what I'm saying? That as far as like what I'm talking about on like certain sh like certain shit. Or how like not 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 his style exactly, but like his sound. Like you know, like it if you listen to my sound you understand, you know? But like uh who else? Big I like using using Biggie's little uh, like his 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 flow sometimes because like he like how he how he puts it's like dope as fuck, you know what I'm saying? It's like a, a storytelling. I kinda use that a little bit sometimes too. That's why I'm able to get off, you know, I'm gonna deliver like that type of unique sound sometimes or flow. Not even sound but flow. Wow, that's definitely true. So before we get out of here and stuff like that, what's some motivational speaking you can say to your viewers or anybody trying to be in your position? What can you tell them? Man, if, if, if you got anybody that try to tell you can't do something, man, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Just, just do it. You know, like don't listen to nobody who ain't trying to see you shine. You know, because I had mad people telling me I couldn't do what the fuck I'm doing now, or I was butt at rapping and started third. You know, but like, uh, stay to your ground, man. You know, stay focused, stay busy. You know. And, 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 I was about to say, fuck the next nigga thoughts, but I don't. You probably gonna boop off all that cussing and shit. Nah, nah, it's cool, it's cool. It's this cool. is just raw, cut, oh, bro. You say whatever right. you want. Oh, alright, bet. Yeah, man, stay focused, man. Uh, damn, it was like, there's so much shit I can say right now, man. Um, yeah, man, like, cause you gonna have a lot of doubters, you know? No shit, like, and definitely coming up, coming up how I came up, you know what I'm saying? Like, Niggas, I, niggas look down, you know, down on you. You just gotta stay focused, man. Bleep out anything anybody say. You know what I'm saying? Get that paper, get that bread, man. And it's like that. <laughs> so let them know where they can follow you at, man, all your social media, where they can uh, listen to your music at, too. Yeah, you can find me on, uh, on YouTube as Quizzle, just without the E, so it's like Q U I Z Z L. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can follow me on iTunes as well. The same thing, symmetrical as hell to that. Q U I Z Z L, no E. Um, what else? That's oh, Spotify as well. You can do the same shit for Spotify. Q U I Z Z L. Get it? Don't put no E on my shit. Um, yeah, man. Oh, uh, I ain't even got a fully page and stuff with my Facebook or my uh, my Instagram. You can follow me on. Uh, like Quizzle 412 or something? Yeah, Quizzle 412, you can follow me on Instagram, Quizzle 412, you know. Just add me, you know what I'm saying? And I, if you cool enough, I'll add you back. Man. And you heard it here first. Thank you for coming through. No problem. Thank you, bro. Like, real shit, I really appreciate it. Uh, no doubt. No doubt. So I, I ain't even had no ride to get here. My man's paid for my shit. 
Nah, uh, real shit. So, so we about to make bread off of this. Nah, uh, facts, facts. True. Heard it here first, Scoot TV. Yeah, yeah, that, that.